Hey, welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, a homeschooling mum of three in the UK. Today we are busting home education myths. And I posted in a Facebook group this morning to see how many other parents had heard ridiculous myths. My phone is still buzzing several hours later with different things from that they have heard from people who really have no idea what they're talking about. So. Number one, homeschool children have no friends and no social skills. This one always makes me chuckle because my kids have so many friends and they have way more friends than I did when I was their age and way more friends than my husband did when he was their age. Not only do they have loads of friends, they have really strong and meaningful relationships, not just with other children but with other adults and their social skills, they chat to everybody. Even my children who are neurodiverse, they are literally, they just want to chat to everybody. When we go to a market, the market in our town on Wednesday, they want to chat to the market stall holders and to the random old lady admiring grapes. And they want to ask about melons and where did these strawberries come from? And, and they just want to chat to people and learn from people. So that's unfounded. Um, loads and loads of home educated children I know do not struggle with making friends and do not struggle with social skills. Um, they might do when they're in school, but they come out of school and they really come out of their shell and everything's fine. Number two, only teachers can teach children what they need to learn. You are your child's first teacher. That is something that I've always said. And home education is just a continuation of that early learning that you do at home. You know, you're teaching them blah, blah, black sheep and how to walk and talk and stuff like that. And if you don't know something that you need to teach your children, you just look it up. There are so many resources that are available to teachers that you can access as home educators. You can access the national curriculum. You can access all of the teachers, things that they can access. If I'm not sure about something, I buy a book. If I'm not sure about something, I Google it and, and then I teach my kids. Number three, homeschoolers stay at home all day and do nothing. I wish, I wish we stayed at home all day and did nothing. That would like be totally awesome, but we don't. Um, I have to schedule two days a week where we literally sit and do nothing and chill and do book work and watch documentaries or a film or something because we are so busy the rest of the week. We need those two days of downtime. Um, and I know loads of other home educators who don't even do that because they're just busy every single day with loads and loads of different extra, extra curricular activities or educational trips or whatever. They're just so busy having fun and learning in life. Num Number four, you have to use the national curriculum, tutors and report to the council. You don't have to use the national curriculum. Uh, you have to give your child an education that is suitable for their age and ability. That is on the gov.uk website. Uh, but you don't have to use the national curriculum. The national curriculum is just one style of education. There are loads of others. Charlotte Mason, unschooling, unit studies, you name it, there's loads. Um, I'll do another video on that though. Tutors, I know several homeschoolers who use tutors and most of the ones I know don't use tutors. I certainly don't use tutors. I'm my child's, my children's main teacher. My husband helps and other members of the family help as well but we don't have tutors. You don't have to, it's up to you, personal choice. Um, having to report to the council. There are loads of um, things going around at the moment in the news and um, in very, in the government about um, whether we're gonna have a home education register, and whether we have to report to councils and how much jurisdiction they have. At the moment, they have absolutely none. Um, they can't register you, they, you don't have to report and they can't demand visits. You can say, no, thank you. Um, whether this will change in the future or not, but as of September 2019, um, you don't have to do anything with the council. You can say, thank you, thank you very much, goodbye. Number five, they won't be able to get a job without GCSEs. I know plenty of people who didn't get any GCSEs and still have a job, and I know plenty of people who have loads of GCSEs and did not get a job and still are unemployed. Home educated children who don't have GCSEs often submit portfolio of work to a higher education establishment or to um, a apprenticeship company or whatever and, um, sorry, itchy eye, um, and they go about it that way or they do online courses. Number six, all home educated children are weirdos with weird hobbies. 
all people are weirdos with weird hobbies. I like horse riding, my dad likes motorbikes. I think motorbikes are death traps made of metal. They're terrifying. My dad would not get on a horse because he thinks why on earth would he want to get on a 400 kilogram animal or more that could potentially run off with him into the distance. To each other, those hobbies are really, really weird. My kids like picking up rocks and pine cones. I bet yours do too. I think that's weird, but they're no different to school children when it comes to their weird hobbies. Number seven, all home educators are religious fanatics. Uh, well, we follow the wheel of the year and we're not fanatical about it. We literally just kind of, you know, if we forget one, we're like, whoops. Um, I know lots of home educators that are Jewish or that are Christians or that are Muslim and or atheists and really no one is fanatical about anything. We share our faiths with each other, we share our celebrations with each other and that's literally it. I'm sure there are probably a handful of fanatical religious people who also home educate but really they aren't connected, so. Um, Number eight, homeschooling is illegal. Homeschooling is not illegal in the UK and I will leave a link to the gov.uk website which has all the information about the legalities of homeschooling in the UK. Um, this homeschooling is illegal in some countries but it's definitely not illegal in the UK. Number nine, you only home educate because you are too lazy to send your children to school. I stayed up till 2am last night planning the next six months of home ed um, in more detail than I had done which I have done several times already like in a bit more detail each time yesterday i was designing lesson plans and stuff like that um yeah maybe i'm too lazy to send my autistic child to school because he would not cope with it i'm too lazy to deal with the battle of getting him dressed into clothing that he would not want to wear i am too lazy to get into a place where he doesn't want to be and maybe i'm too lazy to then deal with the emotional meltdown and the aftermath of those choices i'm too lazy to deal with poor mental health for my child i would much prefer him to have good mental health which he does and number 10. Number 10. Home educated children will never adapt to real life. This one makes me laugh. And when I heard it, or rather read it, I almost peed my pants because I was like, what? <laughs> my kids and the kids of all of my friends and all the other home educating children I know are literally learning in real life all the time. Um, because they're in it all the time. They're not shut away at school doing school things they are out in the world all the time now i have absolutely no judgment if you choose to send your children to school that is absolutely fine and if it works for you that is absolutely wonderful i'm so pleased that the system works for your children and that you get to do that and make that choice but the system doesn't work for my children i'm 100 percent sure that it would not work for them they've never been to school and i hope that i will never have to send them um None of these things are true though. If you have this idea of home education in your head but have no experience of home education, do not listen to the myths. Chat to home educators and find out for yourself. So, I hopefully will see you on Saturday with a lifestyle video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I busted some home education myths for you. See you later.